Hey guys, Ankh Gaming with you again, and here we are for some more Hotel's Giant 2, or Hotel Giant 2. And when we left off, we had built this pool. I don't know, I think it's cool. Got a lifeguard, got a couple chairs, it's not super big, it could be bigger. But we set up our bathrooms and changing rooms, I think they're pretty, pretty nifty. I, maybe we need a trash can in the changing rooms, I don't know. But, eh. So also, uh, they don't match, whatever. I'll deal with that at another point. Maybe off camera or something. But I did have a comment. Someone said that, basically like, oh, it looks kind of cool. That uh, I'm an idiot, basically, is kind of, I think what they're trying to say, and like, I need to read, oh, there we go. That I need to, all kinds of hotkeys. Oh my goodness. This one was good, which one was that? Bam, bam, no. So these are the, okay, this is the straight overhead view. That is handy. It looks awful. We're going to go back to this view. So anyways, basically telling me I should watch like some guides, some tutorials, and learn what I'm doing. But hey look, our bar is getting popular. Uh, I will have to figure out why no one goes to our restaurant. I obviously did something wrong here. Uh, and they also said that I should use some ceiling lights. I have some in this room, you can't see them too well. but there are these squares and I have none in this room but this room's it's doing pretty well we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen people in the bar drinking my cheap drinks so they're probably taking advantage of dad's package is what I'm thinking so I I don't know why this one is not working out so we will figure that out we're not gonna worry about that this episode and we do need some amenities in the in the lobby yet. We have uh, we've built more rooms, and you know the, what I said in the comment was a reply to that comment is I'm not really worried. We're gonna advance one week. I'm not too worried about. Oh wait, I have no door into the pool, do I? Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. All right, hold on. We need a door into the pool area. <laughs> this guy's gonna starve to death. He has no way to get out. But uh, what I said in reply to that comment is, you know, that's the purpose of these blind playthroughs, is I don't want to know how to do it. You know, it, it's more fun just to kind of be like, kind of an idiot, and sometimes, not always. What is this? What is this door so fancy? Can I put it right there? Bam, 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 bam. Something, to, there's something which may block the back of the door. Oh, so you, I can put an entrance down there. Hold on, let's uh, move this. We're just going to move it right there for now. We're going to move this. Perfect. I want two entrances to the pool. I don't know why. Can I move these? Oh, I can. Sweet. So I could put one there right in front of the lifeguard. That seems... A little silly. Can I move him? Not too many places I can really move the lifeguard, huh? He's kind of limited to right here. We'll put it this way so we can check out the babe's sunbathing. Alright, let's move these chairs. Um, I kind of like the idea of having one on each side here. That's fine to me. And we're going to put a second door in. So, I, I don't get what the difference is, really. So, we're going to do like that. So, I don't know. It's kind of symmetrical. It's kind of my thing. And whatever. Two doors into the, in here. I got the stairs in there next to the diving board, so you can just, you know, rinse and repeat if you want. And uh, this chair feels kind of out of place. I want to move these a little bit. I don't like the chair up against the corner like this, but... I want this path to be clear for traffic, right? Makes sense. And I think that's plenty of seating in here. Maybe I just like move this. This is very symmetrical looking, but I think that's fine. Yeah, I think I leave it like that. That looks fine to me. Though this is kind of awkward. This guy's like staring him down. So I'm going to turn these facing the other way. 
That way you can see down their shirts. It'll be a little more convenient, you know? Get a better view, you know? All that kind of stuff. I'm just kidding. You know. Don't be a lifeguard like that. Unless you want to, you know, that's fine too. Alright, so... This is all set up. Let's see what else we can build. Let's build new rooms. So, we may have people who want a health club, but I eh, don't care about that. We have a swimming pool, a library. Who goes... What? Who goes to a hotel to go to the library? Or the electronic shop? What? Why would I want to... What? I don't get it. I mean, a game room I kind of get if this is like the 80s. But no, this isn't the 80s. I mean, that's kind of a business center, though. Business center seems like a great idea. And a business center would go great, really, right here. If it'll fit. Boom. Boom. I want it right there. Dang. Hmm. I'm going to move this. <laughs> I'm just going to move them for just right now, just so I can try to fit a business center up here. I may put the check-in right here, get rid of this door. Yeah, I'm just going to delete this door. Boom. Delete object. This one. There we go. So I might make check-in right there. I'd like the business center to be next to the restaurant. And I may pull the restaurant out to make this flush, but let's first try to put in this room. Room, room, room. A business center is kind of like a staple at any decent hotel, right? So, can I make it like, I'd love it if it was only that big. Boom, boom, boom. Ticka, ticka, boom, boom, pow. How big does it have to be? Come on. What the heck? Overlay with another object. Is it these lights? Is that what it's overlaying with? It shouldn't be, because when I built these, that didn't matter. Huh. Okay, so that's how big it has to be. No, can I undo? I could put it here, next to the pool, but that's not where I'd want to put a business center. Alright, let's pull this out. Maybe this is just blocking it. Alright, room. Business center. So that's how big it has to be, huh? Yeah, I don't like that. That tucks the coffee shop in too far. Though, I do think we pulled the coffee shop out flush. I think that would just look better. And all we're going to do with that change is we're just going to slide these tables back one. So, I mean, we do have these business desks down here in the coffee shop. So, yeah. I think maybe we can slide them down one, can we? Yeah, I like that. I like it. Oh, I didn't even move the room out all the way. Whoops. Bam. Alright, now let's move these again. And I can't. What? Why can't you move? What would be in the way of this being here? Customer and objects not free. Okay, let's play a little bit. There we go. There have been a number of standard rooms you had. Better look into this. Whatever. People are just complainers. I know this. Quality of your facility costs as much as the price being charged. Proof of quality or decrease the price may help your business. High demand for a library. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have to say to that. All right. How are we looking? This rug's kind of out of place now. Can we rotate it? Yeah, we can. 
that look better? No, not really. I agree. Right there, that looks better. Now, I think we can move all of this over a little bit too. I think that's a little more... I could even scoot it back, couldn't I? No, that looks better to me. A little bit. Can we move you over now? So we could move you. And I like that. I like that change. Cannot move the plant. That's fine, we'll move it over there. Can I turn this? Ooh, I do like that though, because then I can do that. I think that looks a little... I don't know, looks better to me. I like the idea of the corner booth. It kind of has a little more flow to it, I think. Who knows, whatever. Don't really care. Let's move these back. And the clock will go back here again. So if we want a business center down here in the lobby, we'd have to put it like right here, I think. And that means moving the pool door. Which, that's not the worst. Um, or we could shrink the restaurant. Let's see, let's just try this again. Nope. Room. Now I'm kind of surprised that there's not a complaint that there's not restrooms in the lobby. That seems more, you know, like pressing than the fact that we don't have a bathroom. Let's... Can we fit this upstairs someplace? No, probably not. Maybe up here? Now we do have this gap here. I guess I'll have to figure out something to put in there. And... Hmm. I wish I could not have this in the middle. That kind of blows up a lot of the feng shui. Now, yeah, these doors being switched, having the room design flipped would probably be pretty nice. People are enjoying their room. She's in a room. So we got a couple of them occupied. That's good. So how many floors we got? This floor, I can't see. That's four, five, six. That's it. That's all we got is six. Alright, well, we're going to put the business center down here in the lobby. I guess that means we get rid of this door. That's not the biggest issue ever. Let's build the business center. Room. Business center. And... Boom. If we rotate it, will it fit? Ugh, cannot rotate it. Uh, don't like that. Now, here's what I would like. I would like to be able to do, like, this. But they don't let you. That, in my opinion, is bad game design. So I can make it that size? Alright, well, this is not going to be a huge business center. We're going to make the door come in from here, though, because we don't want, like, the pool and all that to come from... The Ooh, actually, I got an idea. Can I move it? I would like it to be right there. Why can't I? I think it's because of the chandelier, so... Let's move these. Give me that chandelier. Bam. Move you. Give me that chandelier. And let's try to move this. Ugh. Oh, that's that's hideous. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Yeah, that was bad. Yep. Just kidding. Did not like. Alright, that's actually not the worst, to be honest. Alright. Business and reception area. Satisfaction 2%. Zero customers utilized per day. Alright. Well, let's object this sucker up. Reception desk. 
Why would you have a reception desk in a library? I must not be on... Bending machines, tables, so f This can't be right. Can I edit this room? Object. This makes no sense to me. This all looks like lobby crap. <laughs> yeah, that's all lobby crap. Why can't I work on this business center? Let's try this again. Boom. Room. Business center. There we go. Now I want to put objects in the business center. I'm confused here. Is anyone else confused? There's no freaking options for things that matter in this business center. I don't get it. What kind of business center has... Alright, you know what we're doing? We're deleting this room. Bam. Let's try this again. A room? We're gonna go business center. New room. And it's gonna go... from here. there. And object. This is ridiculous. A business center has to have computers. What the heck's a reception desk supposed to do? I don't get it. Okay, now I can see why someone would say I need to read a tutorial, because I have no idea what the flip's going on. But whatever. That employee cannot get out. Drinks vending machine. Uh. Bam, bam. Probably didn't need two, but that's fine. Let's do this. We need to delete some of these. We definitely don't need that many vending machines. Move that over. Alright, well, I have no idea what the heck's up with this room. Let's put some lights in here. Oh, it's letting me individually place lights? What the world? Bam. Well, that's awesome, it's finally letting me individually place the lights. Oops. Whatever. Well, this is tough. Uh, right there? There? Give me that light. I don't want it there. Ah! I don't think those are lined up, though, are they? Actually, they look pretty good. I think we need to move that one over a space. Bam. Is that right? Yeah, that looks right. I'll put another one over here. Object. Light. Now, I know I'm using, like, the ugliest possible light. Deal with it. That's kind of what I gotta say. We're gonna put a door. And, obviously, it's not going to fit very well in between these lights. I don't know why that always is. Uh, whatever. Let's just move it. Let's move the door. I'm gonna just get rid of that one. Come on, 
Give me the light. Give me the light. And what we're gonna do is that one's centered on that wall. We're just gonna leave it like that. That's fine. It's fine with me. I have no idea what the heck this room's supposed to be if these are the objects you have to put in it. Oh, light set. Oh, I could've just done that. That looks awful. Can I? There needs to be an undo button. Alright, well. Well, this sucks. Alright, well, everything but that corner is lit up, right? Sorry guys, I'm sorry I have to do this, I didn't realize it was going to knock all my lights off. Alright, so we're lit again. I guess we just put some chairs in here? I... whatever. Um... Window. Can I put a window over here? Bam. Nope. I wish I could have smaller windows too. Like all the windows are freaking ginormous. Uh, wall mount TV. Yeah, I want those. Give me... There. And we're gonna do the same thing right here. We're gonna set up some couches. Because I don't get it. I have no idea what this is all about. Yeah, I don't like that. So, move it back. And flip it. Bam. And move it back. Coffee tables? Coffee table. Ugly. Perfect. We're going to set up the same seating area right here, actually. Alright, I like it. And then here in the middle, we're going to set some other chairs. We're going to go with the blues. We're going to go chair, chair. This is more like a little cozy sitting area. These guys are a little more cozy together. And can we get a little table in between them? An end table like this. Bam. Can I move them forward? They're like touching feats. Oh yeah, I can. Oh yeah, touching feats. That's probably a horrible idea, but I'm doing it. Hey, I could make each chair face a separate way. Check this out. I could be like, oh, I'm looking this way. You're looking this way. It's like round, round the world, man. Except for I don't think anyone can get in this chair, so that's bad. Alright, so. Alright. Well, that's there. Um, put a painting on the wall. There we go. Same painting there because we're a cheap freaking hotel. Oh man, look at this decoration. Madness. Uh, looks awful. Love it. And... Uh, What's this sculpture look like? Bam, it's a table sculpture. So, whatever, this looks bad. What else? We got vending machines. We'll just put another another sofa over here. And a coffee table in front of it. And that's it. That's all I'm doing in this room. Makes no sense to me. Uh, we're getting giving you a different coffee table though. Doop doo. Oh yeah, that one. Styles. Styles for miles. There we go, that's the place. Looks like it needs a rug. Let's go with the medium rug. Oval shaped. Bam. It's not not bright enough though for this place, but whatever. That's our business center. I don't get it. I have no idea, honestly. So guys, that's going to be it for this episode. And about learning what I'm doing, I may learn a little bit after I fail. 
I know I gotta fix the lights in the lobby. We're gonna continue working on the lobby. I guess I need to build a library. Makes no sense. We'll see if we build one. We may not. But thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time as we continue the build. And then we get some live play. And like I said, some stories. Hey, you know what? I keep promising stories. So I'll just give you guys a quick one. A quick one. Uh, so this guy, this is a story I heard about a guy who worked at a hotel. He was working. It was late one night. He worked overnight. And basically, pretend this is, uh, you know, this is the desk where he works. But it's a very small hotel. Like, hotel is probably smaller than this lobby, really. But so he's working. And he locks all the doors outside. It's glassed up. And he's back here, you know, it's it's late, like 2 a.m. All the bars closed down, so most of the drunks already checked in. But he's just chilling, you know, just whatever, watching some TV. And then he hears, boom, 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 someone banging on the glass to the, the glass front doors. He's like, what in the world is this? Looks over, and it's a girl. And she looks like she is being chased by, like, Freddy Krueger or something. She's freaking out. So he's like, uh, can I help you? So, you know, he's like, up, oh, doop, 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 walk over here. Yeah, can I help you? I can't let you in the hotel. It's nighttime, you know, like, I got rules and stuff. You're not a guest, so I can't really let you in, but you're scared, so I don't know what to do. And she's like, he's got a gun. He's gonna shoot me. And you're like, uh, and then she starts pulling on the door, like, trying to break it open. And you're like, well, I could take a girl, but, you know, I couldn't take a guy with a gun. So, uh, and you know, if she gets like shot outside, she may turn into a zombie. It's like a full moon out. Maybe he's a werewolf. I'm not sure, you know, but she's a girl, so I could probably, I could probably beat her up. That's what he was thinking. So he lets her in. He opens the door like this guy, whoop, lets her in, then he shuts it and locks it again. And then calls the cops. The cops stroll on up, you know, pull up a little while later, and there's a truck outside. She was apparently driving this truck, uh, from what I hear. She was driving the truck, and the guy was a friend she used to know. She just came back to town, hadn't seen him for years, and they went out drinking together. They got wasted. He was like, drive me home. She's like, okay, I'll drive your car, drive you home. Then in the car, he was like, I got a gun. You better do stuff, or I'm gonna shoot you. And she freaked out, pulled into this hotel parking lot for no who knows why, and then ran in. But she couldn't get in because the doors were locked. So when the police stroll up, they come out, guns pulled, they're walking through the parking lot, walking up to this truck. And this whole time, no one's moved in the truck. We don't even know if anyone's alive in there. This girl could be crazy. She could actually be a werewolf. We're not sure at this point. So we're, we're kind of keeping her at a distance. But she's like hiding away from the windows, afraid that he's going to see her. So maybe she's afraid the sun's going to come up and it's going to kill her. She's actually, I'm not sure. She may be a vampire. We're not sure. Maybe a hybrid. So the cops come up, there's like four of them, they circle around the truck, they look in, there's a guy in there apparently. They pull him out, and they're like, where's your gun? They got all their guns trained on him, and then he's like, uh, like stumbling around, he's like, I used to be in the military, bros, I'm a cop too, or something, I don't know. But, uh, apparently he didn't have a gun. End of the story. Uh, don't go to bars and pick up dudes you used to know, because they may be crazy until you have a gun, even though they don't. So the cops and this guy just kind of hung out, laughed a little bit, because they all, I guess, were in the army and then didn't, you know, want to go into other jobs. So they all went to the arm, you know, into the, becoming cops. So then the girl just goes out, gets in the car, and drives the guy home. End of the story. Crazy, right? That's kind of stuff that happens at nights at hotels, apparently. It's just people crazy. You don't know if they're werewolves or vampires. They, they could be a ghoul. Uh, who knows? They pull up to your hotel, tell you crazy stories. You let them in your hotel, and they might eat your face. Because it could be on bath salts. You never know. Um, but I have other stories. That one's just a quick one. Uh, it went longer than I thought. But thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time for more Hotels Giant, Hotel Giants 2.